We gotta do that again. Come on, let me hear you again. Come on. Uh, we, a little more. A little more. You guys could have been anywhere right now, but you're right here hanging out with me. So let's hear it one more time. My brother's over here. Let's hear it. Brandon and your crew, let's hear it. <laughs> sit next to me, let's hear it. All right, hey, you know what? This town right here, I, I've only been here about a year or so. This town in Lansing, I didn't know shit about Atlanta when I came here. I came from Los Angeles, didn't know nothing about it. Only thing I knew about Atlanta was Martin Luther King, Ludacris, and Grady Hospital. That was the only thing I knew about this fucking like town. Is that a Grady baby? Are you a Grady baby? I work at Grady. Can we get a shout out for Grady right now, people? Somebody might be at Grady tonight before this night is over. But you know this town, you guys had Martin the King, Andrew Johnson, you guys had a shooting at the Olympics, which was real crazy, and you had a motherfucker set the freeway on fire and shut it down. Can I hear it for him? <laughs> Crackheads, unite. <laughs> this crowd is hard. You guys are working me here, you're working me here. Listen, since we just have such a small, intimate crowd, let me just get close to you guys. Tell you what I've been going through. You know, when you hit a certain age, and I'm at that certain <laughs> age, I might not look, but I, you get a certain age, and you start going to physical examinations, they stop listening to your heart, listening to your breathe, put their fingers next to your nuts and cough. Those things are over when you get a certain age. They want to look through your ass when you get my age. <laughs> and you know, guys don't know nothing about being looked, at, looked up your ass these days. Hopefully, I hope that's not the case. But when you get to a certain age, the doctor comes in and says, hey, how you doing, Mr. Lee? It's good to see you. You hear that gets your prostate examined. Now, when I heard about the prostate thing, I really didn't think I'd be going through that. But when you hit that certain age, you have to, and you really don't realize what's going to happen to you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It ain't a date. Not at all. It's a guy that used to be a former wrestler with the biggest <laughs> fingers. They want to examine your prostate. They bend you over. They put a little astro glide on. They talk to you the whole time. And something about a guy talking behind you with Fingers in my ass. All this shrunk up. All this. I knew exactly my direction in life. It could never be the other way. But you know, I mean, it's and that's something that just goes for men when you get a certain age. Young guys, you don't have to worry about that. But women, oh, the mammogram. I used to think mammograms were sexy until I saw what they did to you. Did <laughs> young young fellas, if you if you've not seen a mammogram, it's like. They take a beautiful Pam Anderson or Pam Greer kind of titty. That's a serious. Women, can I hear it for nice titties? Do you guys like to have nice titties? Women, nice titties. Any women out here? And they put that thing in a machine and they squeeze all the cuteness out of that titty. Just, <laughs> and the titty's black. I swear, it's, a, it's something to see. But you know what? Jesus is good because it bounces right back. I don't want love guys to be to work in mammograms. Do you work in my show? You work in my show. Let me throw a pelvic exam into this. I wasn't going to talk about pelvic exam. I thought that was actually a dirty word until I found out I've been giving him since the 80s. <laughs> oh, come on now, fellas. Fellas, fellas, come on now. Don't make me feel like I'm alone. When I'm digging in, I'm hitting the back. <laughs> Some people might not, not, might not know nothing about hitting the back, but that's... That's what I did. That's what I did. Because, you know, I, I'm a Los Angeles guy. I got to hit the, like they hit water when I stand by. Wait, it's, it's so that's another show. But anyway, my doctor, he also told me, hey, Mike, you know, you know anything about polyps? And I'm telling myself, polyps, you know, you know, I'm kind of, kind of swift sometimes. I really was, I'm thinking grapefruit or uh, some type of seed that I might have eaten, but I was wrong. Polyps are where the prostate is, somewhere around there. Anyway, they got to go in through your ass. To check out the polyps. You can't take a blood test for polyps. You can't, they can't fill your pulse for polyps. They give you a choice. They said, we're going to give you a local anesthetic. anesthetic. That's called Astrocline. And then we're going to sit a malleable 18 inch tube right up your shoe so we can see what those polyps look like. Now, you can either take it like a man or you can take it like Michael Jackson. That's propofol, folks. That's what they offer. They offer me some propofol. This actually worked better in Vegas. The 